out here to show the wheat. It's um, July 14th. Still two or three weeks away. It's just starting to turn the head of the uh, wheat. A little yellow. Um, earlier this spring, I had some wet spots where I couldn't drill wheat. Shows up out there. It's about three acres. You kind of see a green line. I got the tractor stuck out there. It was so wet. So there's a total out of the 75 acres of wheat, about three acres or four acres, it was too wet to drill. So what I came up with a plan B or C was to put buckwheat in there. It's normally dry ground, it dries out, it's not wet. But, um, so off that three or four acres, I should probably get, I don't know, 800. They told me, I, don't, I can't remember what they said, a thousand pounds an acre, so it'd be 5,000 pounds of seed. Of, of grain and the idea is to then I've got 60 acres next year that are full of thistle they're in corn this year but I'm going to try to um, well I'm going to grow buckwheat swath it and I'm in touch with the people at Albert Lee Seed and I think I'm uh, they're one possible outlet to grow them as seed and there's a couple grain outlets but um, there's a the buckwheat, and then you see all the little lamb's quarter and pigweed that are starting there. I've never grown buckwheat before, but I've been told that it will get up and crowd out any of those little weeds. I uh, disc this little patch and field cultivate well, all the four or five acres, of which this is a tiny part, um, right before I drilled this stuff. It was two weeks ago now. I think it was around the 1st of July. But, um, Carl likes to come out and roll around in the grass. Yeah, you good boy. You good boy. Yes, you good doggy. Yes. Yeah. He's getting up there. He'll be 13 this year. He's been a great dog. That adventures. He drove with me to the south of Mexico in the old van. Went for a swim in the old, now decommissioned manure pit that was out there. An eight foot of liquidy manure right before we pumped it out. Managed to survive that. The video's kind of rambling. Just wanted to touch briefly on this over here. I've got a patch of raspberries, the black raspberries and the red ones. And last year it was pretty bleak. I thought the fungus had got it. You kind of see the red raspberries are pretty tiny. And they're sort of tart. You know raspberries, you know raspberries. But over here are these black raspberries. <coughs> Probably should find one. Usually these, last year there were none here. And this year, there's a few. Not really as many as you'd like. Well, there's one right there. Sort of semi-past it. But previous years, these, this patch is just full. You come out here and I could, I could pick a half a gallon every morning for 10 days. So it looks like that. They're really tasty. They're sweet. And it's also got in here, there's some nettles. And I don't know the name of this vine, but I gotta pull it out. It's this. Sort of takes over. Well, it's up here in this thing too. Well, it's a different one, I think. It's got a different leaf. So I got two kinds of vine. I got this kind, and I got that kind. Um, so the, the black raspberries are red, and then they eventually turn what well, kind of a deep purple. They'll end up looking, see how that cluster right there? So these, this one's right. You see like that cluster there, there's only one 
one bear they either dried up or fell off or something and this one didn't really set fruit so it's nice to see it's coming back and here they're a little past it or dried up and here I don't think I picked all those off so it's like they didn't really set a fruit there's a bunch of new shoots coming up and these stalks here I come out here and trim them back trim their stalks back after they're done fruiting. I think it's, I don't know, maybe a fungus, but then I've got, on the other side of the house over there, I've got, you know, wildlife or bird dispersed. A really nice plant. There's a, Good at spotting when there's so few. Oh, this is not bad. That's kind of what it looked like. There'd be a cluster of them. That's kind of a boring video, but. The 10 people who watch this, thanks for uh, playing along. Now yeah, the wheat should come out, come off, I'm hoping in two or three weeks. I'll put it in the bin. And I gotta start lining up buyers. There's a couple people out there that might want it. We'll see. We'll see what we get, see what we got to sell, and then we'll go sell it. Um, soybeans look okay. They're coming along okay. The corn looks okay. Um, and the buckwheat, we'll see. Kernza looks pretty good. So I can kind of take a deep breath here after running around for three months. Mid-July and slowly but surely start working on fixing all the equipment that broke in the last three months. I'm going to go inside and have a cup of tea.